Welcome back. The USD women's basketball team is living up to the phrase mid-season form, and they're not even quite to the midpoint of the league's schedule yet. The Coyotes are scoring 82 points per game and holding teams to a mere 54 in conference play while boasting a 4-0 record, the best start to summit league play in program history. For more on the South Dakota women, here's Jay Elson with head coach Don Plitzewhite in Vermillion. All right, thank you, Kelly. Well, after last week's wins over Mount Marty and uh, Fort Wayne, the South Dakota women have stretched their win streak to seven straight now overall. They're also 4-0 in the Summit League. Don, I know you like the sound of that, but what's been some of the key ingredients to this recent run of success? Well, our young ladies have gotten better defensively, and that's really helped us. And by that, what we've been fortunate enough to do has been to turn over our opponents, and that helps us on both ends. It holds our opponents scoring down and gives us opportunities to get out and transition and play fast on offense, which has really been beneficial. All right, well, that latest victory, of course, came Saturday, but this one was a pretty stark contrast to the one that you had the previous time out in league play at Western Illinois. Of course, in that game, perimeter scoring played a huge role uh, as you hit 15 threes in 38 attempts, but this one, it was all about the paint. You got it inside and you converted 54 points in the lane on Saturday. Yeah, it's so vastly different. At Western Illinois, we shot more arc shots than any team I think I've ever coached at 38 arc shots and made 15. And then at halftime of our game against Fort Wayne, we had attempted three arc shots. I think in the entire game, we attempted nine maybe. So very, very different, but also very different opponents in the way that they defend. And what we really tried to work on and teach is the fundamental skills for each individual player, but also the understanding of what we how we need to take advantage of different teams or what we're trying to 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 find ways how we're trying to find ways to score fort wayne doesn't necessarily have the size that other teams have and so we're really trying to attack around the rim if we could is there value in showing future opponents that you can win a game in either of those ways well i think what's valuable for us is that we we continue to get better and we teach our players if teams play us in one way or another or a certain player jumps out and attacks the screen one way or another, how do we combat that? That's what's valuable to us. Offensively, you've been very efficient in Summit League play, shooting a league best 52% so far. What, if anything, do you feel like you can do better on that end of the floor? Well, offensively, we still have to get better against teams that, like teams we face against Oral Roberts on Wednesday that don't switch screens and are really physical with you, have shot blockers around the rim. And so th that's an area that we struggled in late last year on the road in some of those situations, and that's a place we've got to get a lot better yet. You mentioned the defense a little bit earlier. I want to touch on that now, and that maybe has been even more impressive uh, during this run through the Summit League early on. You're allowing just 54 points per game to your opponents, forcing 21 turnovers in the conference to this point. So what else What else could you really realistically ask for as a coach? That's pretty good. It's very good, but what we've got to be prepared for is when we don't turn teams over, how do we keep their field goal percentage down? And that's an area that we haven't been as sound as we want to be yet. It's something that we've got to continue to grow and get better at. Two games on the schedule this week. The first comes Wednesday at Oral Roberts. The Golden Eagles, like yours, has a defense that's been awfully tough to crack. So what's, what makes them so difficult to deal with on that end? Well, they're a team that doesn't really switch screens, and they get really aggressive getting through screens. And then if you catch it and you're in a, they're in a closeout scenario, they're very good athletes, so they can lock you down one-on-one. -on -one. And So they're very, very solid. They've been very solid throughout the course of time, and I think they're a much better team this year even than they were last year. After that one, you get to come home, face Omaha. The Mavericks have fallen on some hard times here at the beginning of conference play, but uh, certainly not an opponent you want to take lightly. Well, Omaha, the last memory we have of Omaha was the last time that we played them and they beat us. So certainly, you know, we're, they have our attention and, and we're going to do everything we can to be ready for that game. All right, well, good luck to you this week, Don, and uh, we'll catch up again next week. Sounds good. Thanks, Jay. All right, thank you, Don. And Kelly, we'll send it back to you. All right, thank you so much, Jay. Tip off down in Tulsa tomorrow between the league's two best defenses is set for 7 p.m. Central, and you can find links to the live stats or to watch or listen to the game on GoYotes.com. USD leads the overall series with ORU 6-2-3. Next on Midco Sports tonight, we have a special guest in studio for Water Cooler Talk. The Argus leaders Brian Henschen joins our Jason and Dara to talk all things high school sports when we come back.